Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'd like to greet everybody with the joy of the Lord. Uh, truly, I didn't uh, uh, know Dr. Shelton the magnitude of this uh, uh, occasion. Amen. Um, but I'm uh, truly happy to be here with this opportunity to sit on this panel. Amen. Uh, really, I'm glad uh, that President uh, Farrington, his vision is, is moving forth in, in a progressive pace. Um, I'm just here to share an experience when I talk with you. you know, I'm just here to share the experience that uh, our encounter with Finn. Um, we're so happy over in the southeast sector. We sit at the top of Fort Davis Park and at the New Macedonia Baptist Church. Um, we have a great leader um, by the name of Patrick J. Walker, as you already shared. Um, and he uh, tapped into Finn. Uh, he's also the state uh, D.C. vicinity of uh, State Baptist uh, President, and also we're part of Progressive. I just see um, uh, the speaker for the Progressive just leave uh, for Dr. Baltimore, but uh, we, we're part of all of that and, and real excited, um, but we're real serious about um, stewardship uh, in many ways, especially over our health. And so when we got the literature and the information about Finn and what was going on, we said it would be a great opportunity to share uh, definitely at Father's Day. And so uh, I was commissioned to, to tie in, and I just thank God for your organization. Uh, I was able to just call and, and talk directly to uh, President Ferriton about some things and got hooked, locked in. And then uh, we ordered pins, and we set up for... Uh, a major extravaganza on Father's Day. Um, it got oh so real though in May uh, as we begin to approach Father's Day in our preparation. Um, in our preparation, uh, we also were putting on the uh, state convention revival and we had major preachers coming in uh, night after night um, for um, our event. And uh, Bishop Rudolph McKenzie was uh, slated to be one of our guest preachers. And in the midst of that, um, he could not come because of diagnosed with stage two uh, prostate cancer, amen, prostate cancer, amen. And so um, it really uh, got real with us. We, 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 we like looked up and said, hey, we're on this thing already. <laughs> and so there at the um, state convention, that, which was held over in uh, Smyrna, New Smyrna, uh, D.C. off of Kenilworth Avenue um, under the Bishop Ross, um, a prayer. Um, it, it took magnitude. Finn stepped in right then and there <laughs> uh, in, in that evening. And so all the state Baptist uh, churches were there. And, and in that prayer of uh, uh, Bishop McKenzie, we also prayed for other um, people. And so I'm, I share that to say that the, the information is, is getting out, um, especially in our community right here in the nation's capital. And so we had a great day um, as we move forward with Father's Day. And as I was preparing, I wanted, um, we have three services, seven, nine, and 11. And I wanted uh, three different testimonies. And I knew of three or four guys mm -hmm. who had had um, experience uh, of this sort and were survivors. And so, um, a couple of the guys that were leery about getting in front of an audience, um, sort of say. And so um, uh, I have small group, men's small group, and I showed up to one of my men's small group, and I literally was blown away with the uh, seven or eight men that sat around the table with us as we were sharing in small group uh, discipleship, sort of say. Um, I asked, are there any um, survivors uh, of prostate? And um, I was blown. Out of the, the seven or eight guys that were there, it was like four of them, four new guys that I didn't even know of rose their hand. And I was like, wow, this is real. Um, you know, it's to me because I'm, <laughs> I'm totally, uh, you know, ignorant to the fact of it almost to the point. Even though I go to the doctor because I'm diabetic and get checked on a regular for it, I, I can't, you know, I, I hate it, but, you know, I get checked for it, amen. And so, uh, uh, you know, I didn't know the magnitude, and so uh, I was blown away. And, and then so on that, so we helped some of the guys through it. We staged their, what their presentation would be. It laid out a lot of your facts that you already had for us. And at the end, 
we asked um, any survivors to please stand throughout our congregation. And we have a congregation of about 2,000 folk, so probably about eight or 900 of those are men. And so as we went through the three services, tears just began to you know, just blow our minds because we didn't know. And, and the men began to connect. And literally, uh, I was excited uh, for uh, Finn just being present uh, in our worship service, let alone uh, my job as, as pastor of fellowship is, is literally just to connect and cultivate relationships. And so now we literally have small groups of survivors um, formulating in our church as we speak. And so just wanted to share an experience, um, a great experience, a great awareness uh, that is definitely needed. Um, any, any all the other stuff I can say has been said pretty much, uh, PowerPoints and all of that, great stuff. Uh, thank God for it. And so I don't have to run through all that statistic stuff and that type of thing. Just wanted to share a personal experience right here in the nation's capital at the top of Fort Davis Park in the New Macedonia Baptist Church where we're uh, carrying on with trying to make uh, African-American men or any members that we do have aware about uh, the health of their prostate. Amen. Amen. Amen.